Cuba is trying to educate both residents and tourists on how important sharks are to the food chain, all while trying to boost tourism by letting them swim with sharks. Patrick Altman explains. Usually they are the last thing you want to see in the ocean. But sharks are the reason why we have come here to the waters off eastern Cuba. We're hoping to see the predators up close and with no cage. Local guides say this is the only place in Cuba, perhaps one of only a handful in the world, where divers can safely swim alongside bull sharks. We are taking them at their word, praying the sharks had a big breakfast. Bull sharks are considered some of the most aggressive in the world, but the ones we see seem mostly curious, swimming around me for a closer look before gliding away. Guide Lazaro says they want to teach visitors to respect sharks and to protect them. El tiburón es la maquinaria perfecta. The shark is the perfect machine, the perfect predator, he says. It's inspiring, emotional, and satisfying to interact with them. Marine biologists say robust shark populations are necessary to maintain healthy coral reefs. In 2015, Cuba placed restrictions on shark fishing, one of an increasing number of countries in the Caribbean to realize that sharks are not only important to the environment, but a way to attract visitors. People in the Caribbean used to commonly catch and kill sharks, either for food or because they were considered a nuisance. But more and more countries in this region are now taking steps to protect sharks. And it's not just about conservation. Shark tourism, visitors specifically coming to a country to dive with sharks, can generate millions of dollars in revenue. Just before her first dive with sharks, Canadian tourist Carrie tells us she's been terrified of them ever since seeing Jaws. I watched the movie very young, and I was even afraid to swim in pools, let alone the ocean. So this is a challenge to overcome. Guides spearfish to attract the sharks, but are careful to use the minimum bait necessary. They say they've never had an attack involving a client or guide, and that people who come to dive here gain a new perspective on sharks. It's the myth of the shark being dangerous, a man-eater that is aggressive, he says. Then you manage to see a shark a meter and a half away from you, and when you come out of the water, they say, this is the best dive of my life. The sharks we swim with are undeniably powerful and also incredibly beautiful, at the top of the food chain, but never seeming to threaten us. And they said uh, the shot of adrenaline in your arm, they were not kidding. I don't want to admit to being afraid, but they're very impressive creatures. Creatures that there are now more and more reasons to try and protect. Patrick Ottman, CNN, Playa Santa Lucia, Cuba.